Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Shut up, let's hi. I'm Miriam and welcome to Afghan Cooks. I'm the Afghan who cooks and today we're making shirpera. Afghan milk fudge, crumbly and sweet and delicious and fairly easy to make. It makes a wonderful dessert with some nuts and fruit and this and that and tea. Anyway, Let's make it. First thing you're gonna do when you start this recipe, and honestly, in almost any recipe, is prep your pans for anything, if you're making a cake or fudge or whatever else. I have here parchment paper. You can buy this giant thing at Costco. Scissors and I cut it, and it's never perfect, okay? Here I have two different ones. I've got two kinds of fudge. There's gonna be another one coming up too. And so here I use like those chip clips, the magnetic chip clips. You can use paper clips, you can, as long as it's not going in the oven, you can tape it down, whatever you have to do. For, for this one I use, these are clips that we use uh, to hold things in place when we're filming. They're super hard, you need to squeeze them with both hands, but that's what I had, so that's what I'm using. And then I buttered the inside of the pan. This to me is always the most annoying and the hardest part is the preparation of the pan, so I try to get that out of the way. We're gonna start by heating up our saucepan and we make a sugar syrup and this sugar syrup is equal parts water and sugar. So here I have two cups of water and we're gonna add two cups of sugar. And we are going to stir this until the sugar dissolves. This is not something that I grew up making, like I said, my mom came to Amrika when she was young. She had not really cooked at home in Afghanistan. And there were no cookbooks or other Afghans. I don't think she ever made a dessert. She made gulab jamun, which I loved, and she made baklava. Those were two things that she did make. I think she had some international friends when we lived in New York City, but I never had shirpera. And to be honest, um, which I think is also very similar, and I'm not gonna say I even know, to burfi, uh, I was not a fan of it. Um, I didn't really love the texture when I was growing up. I preferred, you know, chocolate and American fudge to this milk fudge. Now that all of the sugar is dissolved, you want this to come to a boil, and then you wanna turn it down to a simmer, and then let it simmer for 15 minutes at least. You really want it to get nice and thick. And you're gonna lose about half a cup of this. So we're gonna let this simmer and we'll be back in 15 minutes. This has been boiling now. It actually did for a little bit longer. It's about 20 minutes, but you can see how nice and thick it is. We took it off the heat and now we add our milk powder. We're gonna add two and a half cups of milk powder. I've seen this made in a lot of different proportions. I've seen it made, one, I saw one recipe for one cup of water, one cup of sugar, and then five cups of milk powder. And I, I just, I mean, I don't even know how I would add, you know, another cup, full cup of milk powder to this. I saw another one that was two cups, two cups, and four cups. I mean, there's all kinds. What you're basically looking for is a good, thick, not too runny, but just spreadable, almost like a batter. Now to this, we're gonna add one teaspoon of cardamom, a teaspoon of rose water. We are lucky here in this part of the country, we buy, we can buy rose water in, in Walmart. And then a pinch of salt. Here I have pink Himalayan salt. I mixed it with some coarser pink salt. I just like how it, the texture that it gives in something like this. And then here I have a variety of nuts. I have walnuts, I have slivered almonds, and then of course, piste, pistachios. So we're gonna add some of the walnuts. We're gonna save just a few to top it. So we can make a pretty little design on the top. The pistachios. And the almonds. And this is why we're so happy to have our already prepped pan. This makes it super easy. I'm 
I'm gonna spray my spatula, just a little, I mean, they're non-stick anyway, but I just wanna make sure nothing sticks to this when, as I smooth it down into the pan. And now we're just gonna decorate it. I'm gonna take some pistachios, sprinkle them over the top. And now we're going to just set it aside until it gets hardened, a couple of hours or overnight. If you're in a rush, stick it in the fridge and we'll come back and show you how to cut it up and make it beautiful. So it's been several hours, pretty hard. We're gonna, since we prepped our pan, look at how easy that is. It came right, oh no! I was a little too sure of myself there, but we're gonna cut this now into squares. If you like this video, please subscribe. You're already here, you might as well. Give it a thumbs up. Hit the bell so that you'll know every time we make a new video. And leave a comment. We love to hear what you think. Until next time.